Okay, let's read. The root of Chinese Qigong. I'm gonna attempt this for better. Going to the wrong book. Okay, here we go. Chi. Since we have already discussed Chi at the beginning of this chapter in general terms, we will now discuss Chi in the human body and in Qigong training. Before we start, we would like to point out one important thing. At this time, there is no clear explanation of the relationship between all of the circulatory system and the Qi circulatory system. The Western world knows of the blood system, ner nervous system, and lymphatic system. Now there is the qi circulation system from China. How, for example, the qi and the nervous system related? If the nervous system does not match the qi system, where does the sensing energy in the nervous system come from? How is the lymphatic system related to the qi system? All of these questions are still waiting for study by modern scientific methods and technology. Here we can only offer you some theoretical assumptions based on the research conducted up to now. Chinese medical society believes that qi and blood are closely related. Where qi goes, blood follows. That is why qi, zu, qi blood is commonly used in Chinese medical texts. It is believed that qi provides the energy for blood cells to keep them alive. As a matter of fact, it is believed that blood is able to store qi and that it helps to transport air qi, especially to every cell of the body. If you look carefully, you can see that the elements of your physical body, such as the organs, nerve, nerves, blood, and even every tiny cell are all like separate machines, each with their own unique function. Just like electric motors, if there is no current in them, they are dead. If you compare the roots of the blood circulatory system, the nervous system, and the lymphatic system with the course of qi channels, you will see that there is a great deal of correspondence. This is simply because qi is the energy needed to keep them all alive and functioning. Now let us look at your entire body. Your body is composed of two major parts. The first part is your physical body and the second is the energy supply which your body needs to function. Your body is like a factory. Inside your body are many organs which correspond to the machines required to process the raw materials into finished product. Some of the raw materials brought into a factory are used to create the energy which, with which other raw materials will be converted into finished goods. The raw materials for your body are food and air, and, f and the finished product is life. The qi in your body is analogous to the electric current with the factory power plant obtains from coal or oil. The factory has many wires connecting the power plant to the machines and the wires connections, connecting telephones, intercoms, and computers. There are also many conveyor belts, elevators, wagons, and trucks to move material from one place to another. It is no different in your body where there are systems of intestines, blood vessels, complex networks of nerves and qi channels to facilitate the supply of blood, sensory information and energy to the entire body. However, unlike the digestive circulatory and central nervous system, all of whose supportive vessels can be observed as a material structure in the body. Qi channels are non-material and cannot be observed as physical objects. Cannot be observed as physical. The circulatory nervous and qi system all possess similar configurations within the body and are distributed rather equally throughout the body. In a factory, different machines require different levels of current. It is the same for your organs, which require, which require different levels of qi. If a machine is, is supplied with an improper level of power, it will not fun function normally and may even be damaged. In the same way, your organs, when the qi level running to them is either too positive or too negative, will be damaged and will degenerate more rapidly. 
The ancient Chinese character for qi was formed of two words. On the top is the word nothing, and at the bottom is the word fire. This implies that qi is no fire. That means that when the organs are supplied with the proper amount of qi, they will not be overheated and on fire. <laughs> The ancient Chinese for qi was formed of two words, nothing, and at the bottom is the word fire. So no fire, nothing should be on fire. In order for a factory to function smoothly and productively, it will not only need high quality machines, but also a reliable power supply. The same goes for your body. The quality of your organs is largely dependent upon what you inherited from your parents. To maintain your organs in a healthy state and, in, and to ensure what they function well for a long time, you must have an appropriate qi supply. If you don't have it, you will become sick. Qi is affected by the quality of air you inhale, the kind of food you eat, your lifestyle, and even your emotional makeup and personality. The food and air are like the fuel or power supply, and their quality affects you. Your lifestyle is like the way you run the machine, and your personality is like the management of the factory. The above discussion clarifies the role that she plays in your body. However, it should be noted that the above metaphor is an oversimplification, and the behavior and function of qi is much more complex and difficult to handle than the power supply in a factory. You are neither a factory nor a robot. You are a human being with feelings and emotions. Unfortunately, your feelings have a major influence on your qi circulation. For example, when you pinch yourself, the qi in that area will be disturbed. The qi disturbance will be sent through the nervous system and interpreted by your brain as pain. No machine can do this. Moreover, after you have felt the pain, unlike a machine, you will react either as a result of instinct or conscious thought. Human feelings and thought affect <coughs> qi circulation in the body, whereas a machine cannot influence its power supply. In order to understand your qi, you must use your feelings rather than just the intellect to sense its flow and make judgment about it. I was just saying this yesterday. That we are too blind by too much thinking and light and science. Now a few words as to the source of human qi as mentioned. Chinese doctors and qigong practitioners believe that the body contains two general types of qi. The first type is called pre-birth qi or original qi, yuan qi. Original qi is called zian tian qi which translates literally means pre-heavenly qi. Heaven here means the sky, so pre-heaven means before the baby sees the sky. In other words, before birth. <laughs> original chi comes from converted original jing, which we received before your birth. This is why original chi is also called pre-birth chi. The second type is called post-birth chi. Ho Tian Qi, which means post heaven Qi. This Qi is drawn from the Jing essence of the food and air we take in. As mentioned, the residence of the post birth Qi is the middle Dantian solar plexus. This Qi then circulates down and mixes with the pre birth or Dantian Qi. Together they circulate down, passing into the governing vessel Dumai from where they are disturbed to the entire body, distributed to the entire body. Pre-birth qi is commonly called water qi, shui qi, because it is able to cool down the post-birth qi, which is called fire qi, huo qi. Fire qi usually brings the body to a positive yang state, which stimulates the emotions and scatters and confuses the mind. When the water qi cools your body down, the mind will become clear, natural, and centered. It is believed in Qigong society that fire qi supports the emotional part of the body, while water qi supports the wisdom part. 
After the fire chi and water chi mix, this chi will not only circulate to the governing vessel but will also supply the thrusting vessel chong mai which will lead the chi directly up through the spinal cord to nourish the brain and energize the shen and soul. After the fire chi and the water chi, this chi will not only circulate to the governing vessel but will also supply the thrusting vessel which will lead the chi directly up through the spinal cord to nourish the brain and energize the shen and soul. As will be discussed later, energizing the brain and rising the shen are very important in Qigong practice. According to its function, qi can be divided into two major categories. The first is called ying qi, managing qi, because it manages or controls the functioning of the body. This includes the functioning of the brain and the organs, and even body movement. Ying qi is again divided into two major types. The first type circulates in the channels and is responsible for the functioning of the organs. The circulating shen of qi to, or, to the organs <clears throat> the circulation of qi to the organs and the extremites continues automatically as long as you have enough qi in your reservoirs and you maintain your body in good condition. The second type of ying qi is linked to your yi, mind, intention. When yi decides to do something, for the example, to lift a box, this type of ying qi will automatically flow to the muscle needed to do the job. This type of qi is directed by your thoughts and therefore is related closely to your feelings and emotions. The second major category of qi is wei qi, guardian qi. Wei Qi forms a shield on the surface of the body to protect you from negative outside influence. Wei Qi is also involved in the growth of hair, the repair of skin injuries, and many other functions on the surface of the skin. Wei Qi comes from Qi channels and is led through the millions of tiny channels to the surface of the skin. This Qi can even reach beyond the body. When your body is positive, this Qi is strong and your pores will be open. When your body is negative, this qi is weak and your pores will close up. Your pores will close up more to prevent qi from being lost. So the first one is the thought, mind intention, yin qi, and the second is wei qi, which was guardian. Layer that was excess. In the summertime, your body is yang and your chi is strong, so your chi is shield will be bigger and extend beyond your physical body, and the pores will be wide open. In the winter time, your body is relatively yin negative, and you must conserve your chi in order to stay warm and keep fat pathogens out. The chi shield is smaller and doesn't extend out much beyond your skin. Wei Qi functions automatically in response to the changes in the environment, but it is also influenced significantly by your feelings and emotions. For example, when you feel happy or angry, the Qi shield will be more open than when you are sad. When you feel happy or angry, the Qi shield will be more open than when you are sad. In order to keep your body healthy and functioning properly, you must keep the yin qi functioning smoothly and at the same time keep the wei qi strong to protect you from negative outside influence such as the cold. Chinese doctors and qigong practitioners believe that the key to doing this is through shen. Shen is considered to be a headquarters which directs and controls the qi. Are you good? Shen is considered to be the headquarters which directs and controls the qi. Therefore, when you practice qigong, you must understand when, what your shen is and know how to raise it. When people are ill and facing death, very often the ones with a strong shen, which is in, indicative of a strong will to live, will survive. The people who are apathetic or depressed will generally not last long. A strong will 
to live raises the shen, which energizes the body's chi and keeps you alive and healthy. In order to raise your shen, you must first nourish your brain with chi. This chi energizes the brain so that you can concentrate more effic- effectively. Your mind will then be steady, your will strong, and your shen raised. Shen will be more thoroughly discussed in a later section. There is another way to categorize the body's chi, fire chi, and water chi. As we discussed previously, the chi generated from the food and air you take in the warms, in warms the body. And so it is called fire chi. And this chi is associated with emotions. The second type of chi is called water chi. Fire chi and water chi. Water chi, it is also called original chi because it is generated from original jing. It has its roots in the kidney and it has a cooling effect on the body. It is associated with yi and wisdom. Or wis, because I think peeing has to do with kidney and cooling us down. As Qigong practitioners, you want water chi and fire chi to be balanced so that your body and mind are centered and balanced. It is said that your yi should be in the center of your emotions. This way, wisdom rules and the emotions are controlled, not suppressed. As a Qigong practitioner, in addition to paying attention to the food and air you take in, it is important for you to learn how to generate water chi and how to use it more effectively. Water chi can cool down the fire chi and therefore slow down the generation of the body. Water chi also helps to calm your mind and keep it centered. This allows you to judge things objectively. During qigong practice, you will be able to sense your qi and direct it effectively in order to generate water qi and use it effectively. You must know how and where it is generated. Since water qi comes from the conversion of original jing, they both have the kidneys for their root. Once water qi is generated, it resides in the lower dantian below your navel. In order to conserve your water chi, you must keep your kidneys firm and strong. In order to generate water chi and use it efficiently, you must know how and where it is generated. Since water chi comes from the conversion of original drink, they both have the kidneys for the root. Once water chi is generated, it resides in the lower dantian below your navel. In order to conserve your water chi, you must keep your kidneys firm and strong. Food and air are fire chi, and water is the f- water chi. I like that. I like that. And that was chi. Q I chi. Next we have shen. Stay tuned. Please don't take your sunshine away. Inhale as in. 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 Inhale